Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm playing Amber Journeys Beyond. And I would like to say this is the point where the game gets super messed up. Probably the weirdest point in the game. Okay. Again, the ghost doesn't recognize himself. Uh, clearly we committed suicide, for whatever reason. And we're in some kind of greenhouse or planted area. Maybe a patio. A lot of plants. There's a door over here. Let's check that out. Hmm. Looks, Looks like, like someone, someone ran into some trouble. trouble. Yeah. That sounds like an understatement. Anyway, we're going to head out of here. It's getting creepy. And a huge amount of plants. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the theme of this one. Yeah, there's uh, beehives. That's what it looks Watch like. Out for the bees. They know it's tough. Okay. We're going to check out the bees anyway. Bees watching. Listening. Spaceships where aliens know everything, darling. That killed, didn't, slash, didn't, then. You, the course, kept. You, paranoia, desirable. Whereas now she, her, you no know, Martians, right dead. Our white talk. And for you, girl, adopting their crazy. Find you, the real. You, like you. Stalking you, are in. Are insane. Speaking right. You bees are all a bunch of liars. Okay. Um. <laughs> I guess the bees are telling us things. Those bees are lying. And uh, if you can make anything out from the bees, it seems like they said something about spaceships and aliens and this guy being crazy. That's all I can work out anyway. It's a weird little area here. I have to go around. There we go. Plants have something at the bottom. Come on. There we go. They don't make it very easy to <laughs> get a hold of these plants. Yep. Okay, so they have mirrors on them. And we're just going to move them toward the building for now. There's a door right here. Let's go in there. And uh, we're just going to take a look around. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a gardener. gardener. This, this is, is my shed. shed. Okay. So we figured that much out. Just 
Just looking around over here. Not much here, so. Yeah. You actually have to close the door, which we'll do right now. Maybe wondering what's the point of closing the door. Well, there you go. I'm gonna look over here first. Yeah, that's hilarious. So, apparently we are very messed up. <laughs> Got a peeping Tom Gardner character who killed himself. <sighs> He's such a nice fellow. All we're going to do here is uh, move the plant again, the mirror. And somehow I did a complete weird turn. Turn left, and you mess with that one. We're just going to turn it the other way to get the other people. Doesn't work until you close the door. And looks like another gazebo. Or the gazebo. So we're gonna go check that out. Go back the way we came. And as you can see, there's another spot over here. Just taking a look around. Got a blue flower section. Something on the uh, bench over here. Damn wheat. I believe I made that. that. I did. I made it for her. We're going away together. Okay. <laughs> uh, it says key to the stars. Now, this is a puzzle. Uh, you have to get all the nails at the same length. It's not that bad. We're just going to show the solution because no one wants to watch me finagle with this. There we go. Okay, so it's a code we're probably going to use later, and if we back up and turn the other way, Damn yeah, these weeds. Right, you can just see it uh, forward and to the left, not the right, the left. There we go. There's another little alcove. And this is the gazebo that we were at originally. Let's see what's in the back. What's, 
What's this thing do? Uh, we'll see. Let's go up in the gazebo. Okay. Apparently the gazebo has a secret hatch. This looks familiar, but I can't remember the combination. Yeah, I guess this is just if you get to the gazebo first. You have to backtrack, but we know. So we're just going to enter that in so we can get in here. Go. All right. That's, That's my Mandy. Mandy. She's, She's coming, coming with, with me. me. Okay. <laughs> Here there is a letter. She has the prettiest handwriting. Okay, uh, give you the gist of it. You wrote this to me. I don't want to write this. You won't listen to me. Please believe me. I don't like you, and I want you to leave me alone. Don't want your gifts. You can keep that stupid heart or whatever it is. I don't believe in flying saucers, and I want you to stop talking to me about them. Never, Mandy. My dad said he's going to fire you if you don't leave me alone. Excellent. Oh, boy, this guy's messed up. I uh, see some birds and hearts that he was cutting out here. And uh, this is the plan for the gazebo. And you can see he has like birds and hearts. There's a signal flag. So this was built for Mandy. Mandy likes birds. Okay. And just a basic outline. Looks like the flag is over here. Whatever is in there must be a pretty big secret. Okay. There's a flag here, we're just gonna tie it up. But it's white. Diagram said red. And for some reason there's a huge amount of red paint here. It's very disturbing. So let's see here. You click on it. And then you slide it down. Okay, and then you can see your attention. I hear they like, like red. Sure. This reminds me of something else, but I can't quite place it. It's uh, reminiscent of the windows. You just do the same outline. And... Mandy? Mandy? Mandy. Why do you have, you have to start, start screaming? screaming? I, thought I thought they were, they were coming, coming. And, and, and you were, were fighting, fighting me. me. But then they never came after all. Wait. Shh. Sam. They're here. Wait. Something's not right. right. Okay, that's definitely the most disturbing part of the game. Um, you're a crazy stalker who I thought aliens were coming, <laughs> and you killed a girl? Well, I assume she's dead, but uh, I think that's as heavy as this game gets, really. And at the end, I mean, 
I guess it's presumed he went to hell, which is fine by me. So, with that intact, we have one left. We're just going to go back to the house, turn the power back on, and get started with that. Uh, this is just showing. If you go in this way, there's really nowhere you can go. You can walk in, but you can't even tell what's what. So, kind of creepy. But we're just going to go around front. Okay, slap this back on. And the amber headset's back on. So, you can probably guess where the third and final one is. So, we're going to head that way. Okay, we're going to use our last extraneous item. There we go. I will see you next time on Amber Journeys Beyond. Have a good one.